Caucasian folks, white Caucasian Europe people want you to still believe that they're not racist, which they are. They don't give a shit what happened to, excuse me, don't happen to Gates. They want to clear their name and clear their conscience. Do you think Gates' behavior was appropriate? Do you think that escalated the situation? Well, in some ways, I think that he should have um, provided proof to the police officer who he was and why he was at the door. And what do you think about Henry Louis Gates' behavior on the scene? I would have been very upset, too. I'm in my own house. It's broad daylight. I'm coming from a trip which was probably about, what, 22 hours long. Some don't think conversation will help. You know, it's not something that you just say a couple of words to people. That's it. It's, it's really inside of their, their, their conscience. Their whole conscience has to be changed before that can be fixed. I, I think it is that we have to know how to protect ourselves when it happens. Councilman Jackson's District 7 is about 80% Latino and black. He says community relations with the police here are good overall, but admits racial profiling is a concern. In my opinion, police officers have to follow <clears throat> what's written in New York City on the side of their car. CPR, uh, that is with, um, it says, courtesy, uh, respect, and professionalism. Uh, that's what we expect uh, from our police officials in New York City overall. Jackson, like most Americans, wishes cooler heads would have prevailed on both sides but says police officers should be able to calm situations down to avoid these types of arrests. We know that, for example, police officers and dealing with the public, uh, public sometimes get pretty excited about things. And, but they are the professionals and they know that they deal with this all the time. They should have a demeanor which basically those type of remarks should just bounce off them and not take it personal and then which leads to them arresting an individual just because um, they got a, a little annoyed or elevated in their voice and argument. But when cooler heads don't prevail, Jackson says the public should not just accept it, but report it. Because it's not illegal to yell at a cop. If they're being tr treated with disrespect and uncourteous and, and a police official is unprofessional, they need to report it, in my opinion, to the commanding officer of that particular jurisdiction. Uh, and if appropriate, to file a Civilian Complaint Review Board. The Civilian Complaint Review Board is easily found at nyc.gov, but their power is limited. They investigate complaints and pass their findings to the police commissioner, who retains sole discretion over how much or if any punishment is issued. In recent years, fewer and fewer cases bring any disciplinary action at all. But just this week, Jackson co-sponsored legislation that proposes to give the CCRB jurisdiction to prosecute officers they find guilty of misconduct. As Obama sat down for beers with the officer and professor in Harlem, this physician stood up at a community forum asking how he could protect himself. What role uh, does the Attorney General's office have in reforming and assessing the tactics and behavior of police in such potentially inflammatory encounters in the state of New York. And what advice can you give us minority people, legal and otherwise, who apparently can be subject to a crimeless arrest, even in their own homes, by a policeman who feels that their authority or pride or control of the situation has been compromised? Alfonso David is a civil rights lawyer in New York's Attorney General's office. He says this issue comes up repeatedly in his travels across the state and he's looking at new ways to track the scope of the complicated problem. One issue that we're toying with is making sure that when each person is stopped, that police officers actually record the race of the person in the incident report. So police officers have an obligation to make sure that they complete incidents reports. When they do, in a number of instances, race, for instance, in a traffic stop, stop is not something that's recorded. So it's difficult to gauge how often men are being stopped simply because of their race. And in most instances, it's men. But that's one potential solution to try to really get a, a sense of the scope of the problem. David shared this advice for dealing with police. Um, what I do, and what I tell my friends who are minorities to do, is to defer as much as you can and take as much information and report it. 
In addition to your local civil complaint board, Mr. David wants you to report misconduct to the state of New York. You should also file complaints with our office because what we're doing is trying to determine whether or not there is a pattern. And in a number of instances, you may see that one officer is engaged in targeting specific communities and then it sort of affects the entire culture or it affects the entire unit. And so the, the best thing for you to do and for others to do is really to, to tell us. And we're really thinking about ways in which we can address the problem, but it's very complicated. After a couple weeks of fallout from the arrest, including a chat over beers at the White House, Professor Gates and Sergeant Charlie so far agreed to disagree. The discussion remains unresolved for many other Americans as well. People are, are pretty polarized on this issue. Why do you think that is? Why are they getting polarized on the issue? Because they're not, they're not looking at both sides of, the, of what really went down. It's two sides to every story. A man has to be give, given time to understand. We got to understand the people that they're in a different conscience than we are. And what we call right or what we call good might not be good and right to them. And we got to understand that we all are not the same, same in consciousness on that, um, on that level. We have to begin to understand their consciousness before we can begin to try to make changes. Changes, but their thinking now is thinking two different, two different ways of thinking. I think that everyone wants a community that is united, um, where uh, they respect the police officials and police officials respect the community. Dante Higgins for AllThingsHarlem.com, New York.